volcanic activity that we see here on both sides of the road actually. One of the, you see the big mama going high in the cloud. It is cold right now. What's the temperature outside? 54. So you can really see that steam coming up there. All right, right here we see <laughs> a bison. All right, folks. I look down there, all those little black dots that look like cows grazing or bales of hay that turn black. Uh, those are bison. I mean, it's, it's uh, we, we got closer. This is about, however it looks better than that. But uh, there they are. They are wild, native to the area. And their meat is delicious. All right, so, uh, we, have, we have some traffic up ahead, but there's a reason why. And it's because Big Daddy's right here. Now that is a absolute unit. Mm, all right. So striped. I thought so antelopes are gonna- no, no, That does not look like an antelope. I don't know what that is. We're in traffic. And this is why. All right, we're trying some huckleberry soda pop. soda pop. I've never even heard of a huckleberry. Apparently, it's like a fruit, right? A berry. Oh, like uh, I think it's a berry. Oh, like a berry. But isn't like berries fruits? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, apparently, they're native in Montana, but here. That's refreshing. Is it good? Yeah, Brad, you want to try it? Yeah, let me take a sip. <laughs> Good. What do you give it out of 10, big bro? It's refreshing. It's, uh, it is. The aftertaste is what I like about it. Didn't that one soda we tried maybe that It's very fizzy. Fizzy? Yeah. That is true. It has carbonation. I like it though. Yeah. It's one of the better sodas I've had. I give it a 7.5. 7.5? Sissy. It's carbonated, right? It just tastes like grape soda. No. No, it doesn't. No, it it's smells like cough syrup. It's, it's, not it's, it's huckleberry soda. What? Yeah, it's good. It's just soda. That's really good. Wow, the sissies are complaining. The sissies are good. Brett, Grace, do you want to try it? She is ice cream in her mouth. She's going to have a little bit of ice cream and huckleberry soda. Bye, see you, see you tonight. Fizzy kind of. Mm. <laughs> it tastes like cough syrup. Uh, I think it was good, good for the experience, good to try. We'll never purchase again. What are you carrying? Great soda. <laughs> Just the look going into town today. Yeah. At Bass Pro Shop, how would even go better with you that? Think? You think? No, it's cowboy hats. You need a cowboy hat, actually. Did you bring one? Should I really walk in like this? I think so, yeah. I'm eating at a buffet right now. Got some mashed potatoes with some uh, bread. Mm, the best part is the shirt. It's the shirt, and this is a barbecue bison. Look at that. Look at how tender that looks. It's good stuff. Mm. And you got a moose head right there, an American flag. All right, so we found the game room here. I like these, but they don't work. Um, Got this, and then there's a claw machine back there, and I actually won an Eagle USA USA because I love you guys. I mean, there's a turn machine, that stuff, blocks. I mean, it's mostly for little kids, but I like it. I could have hung out in here. They even have computer access, it's great. <laughs> Here's us going to the come and go. There's Grace. So we went to the come and go. Grace got some muffin stuff. There's no bathroom in there right now. But I got a birthday cake slushy. See what this tastes like. Mmm. What the deuce? I want another set. That's very weird. Grace talked me into a large because 
you wanted to drink some. It does taste like birthday cake, though. A little more refreshing. Hmm. Very interesting. I don't know. It's not as good as banana. That banana one was really good. I missed that banana slushy. Mm. Really it's just funky. Bro, birthday cake slushy. Really? You want to say it? I don't really care. Right. Cody Wyoming here. They put Trump 2024 on the front of it. It's kind of lit. Because we like Daddy <laughs> Trump. Gag. Zero percent liberal. You got these made? Yeah. Yeah, specialty made. Oh yeah. my god. And there's an army guy over there. Yeah. Yeah. You like it? And he held the door open. I said, "Thank you for your service." He said, "You're welcome, sir." And now he's filling up someone's tires with air. That's lit. It's a good view. You got something straight ahead. We saw some deer back behind there. This is Devil's Tower, the first national monument in America. And we love America, which is the, the, actually the best country in the world. And you can turn this video off right now if you disagree. It's up to you though. Totally up to you. I'm just saying. Do you see this in the picture right here? There's the climbers okay, right there. there. Thank you, your mother. Just stand on your toes. Stand on that big one, though. So you can look. Let me see if I can snap a good shot here. That's my dad. Where's that? That guy's going. Devil's Tower. Devil's Tower. Lit. Those people move at all? Did they yeah. make it to the next one? No, but one did. They moved Can't probably 30 feet. Oh! Oh no, now they, now they both made it. That's a person. Um, but his feet were so broken that she, I had to like really <laughs> There's the tin Lizzie. <laughs> they were like gray and white. Right, you're gonna have to hand me my phone so I can pull up the video of heat mail feet. From There's Survivor. just some random- From Survivor, it's not a gross <laughs> sort of foot thing. <laughs> There's just some random people from Survivor that cracked me up for no reason. I know, they're so chaotic. Yeah. What really what I also like the, um, uh, Leopard Slaughter. Candace, I There's some Colton shirts. Yeah. She got eliminated. We're in Deadwood, South yeah. Dakota. They just, like they like Trump here. Yeah. And and this is just the cowboy wild west. Plenty of deaths here. We're probably walking the streets of blood right now. That's just a big bear. Like it's oh, like tiny feeding Like it feels like too real. That's crazy. Well it's real. That is big. Can we put your head next to it for comparison here? Well, I have a big head, so. And and that still looks big next to your big head. <laughs> That's a great hat. So much to see the whole John Deere section. Here we got used coffin, but it's only used once, so it must be good. <laughs> What'd you get? I got a cigar. I'm gonna smoke that shit tonight. Right by the cabin, outside. Show us what you got, Fred. I got this. We just truck. went to that bus right there. Colton's favorite here. Yep. And we we're just talking crap on libs. Don't the whole tread time. on me. I like it. Yeah, it's nice. nice. Grace has her outfit on to see Mount Rushmore. I know she's very excited. Washington pops. Yeah, he does. 
I mean, he might be the best one there. It's sort of left it. We're in the rocks. Yeah. Goes back up. And they're over there to the left. I'm trying to get you a better view here, YouTube. There they are. I'm trying to get George here. Up there on the left. There's Teddy Roosevelt. Harvard. He's one of the legends. Basically, went to the National Park. First president to travel outside the U.S. We're getting a good shot right here. Nice. I like that. Do you, bro? Mm-hmm. And he's handsome as well. Wow. What a view. Is it good? Let me see. We're waiting for the lighting ceremony here. I might not catch it on camera. Oh wait, is there people talking? No. But I'll make sure to get it. Mm. We don't have any forks when we're camping. Just the chow dog style. For breakfast. Oh yeah. Mm. That's good stuff. You want some? No, that's all right. <laughs> so, uh, some rocks here, you see. Uh, we might be able to climb up it. I think in the cracks. Yeah, I think we're good up there. There's snakes in those cracks. Yep. Yeah. Because <laughs> the world's bad. The what? Okay. That's a good idea. Maybe this is. Uh... Dude, just give me your hand while you. Good job. Oh, creepy. Climbing up the white cliffs. I'm just gonna start going this way. Talk to you. Yeah, talk to you. All right, so we're on this trail here. There's a view apparently, but I don't know. We're just here for this ladder right here. Shout out Trent. Thanks Trent. We get a video. better view. <laughs> Colin's gonna climb up that. Very exciting. We're taking a break here in the valley. We're in a blue backpack. It's always very nice, bright colors that you can find them. Yeah. Uh, what? What, what was your plan there? Were you going to go up that? Yeah, yeah, because there's a backside, but like, if you grab a rock, it just crumbles. Oh. Uh. There's Colton on the trail. What does this sign say, bro? It just says keep right, and you're to the right of it, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're good. I'm to the right yeah. Gracie <laughs> time. Nice. Yeah, it's a hot one. 106. I'm, uh, I'm sure it's. I mean, not that hot. Waldrug's eggs and there's Waldrug's dinosaur. Alright, so we're here in, uh, well, let me check up there. Custer. 
Um, and I got Subway. And that guy might have thought, well, we all got Subway, actually. Uh, it's it's 9.30 almost. And, uh, you know, this is just how it goes here. Uh, you get Subway, everything else was closed except the saloon. But it looked like a biker saloon. So we did not partake in that. Um, but we thought about it because we love the bikers, you know, they're good people. They've been great to us this whole trip. And, uh, they offered us pizza. Yeah. We yeah. Uh, respectfully declined. Yep. And whose first time at Subway is this? It's Grace's first time at Subway. So it'll be interesting. <laughs> Yo, what, did, what did we just do? We just, swatted, we just picked this fly spot up and we spotted at least like 10 to 15 rocks. <laughs> we got in somehow, we don't know how. We think from a window, so we shut that. Yeah, but we're gonna see how we survive here. And we saw dead long legs crawling somewhere in here. Last time we liked it. Cabin 28. I to leave. It's 9.27 a.m. And, uh, it's looking good. Nice hot morning here in South Dakota. Even if it's a mm, mayonnaise on your subway. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Good breakfast here. Oh. What, what kind did you get? I got grilled chicken, toasted, with onions, spinach, cucumbers, lettuce, mayo, provolone cheese. I forgot the uh, Parmesan cheese. Oh. Okay. I can taste I it. I can smell every single Yum. ingredient. Yeah, I love subway. It smells good. We're in Iowa. All right, we're driving home. <laughs> this is day two of the drive home. Um, I think we got about 11 hours of driving. It's 10, 15. We're gonna lose an hour as well once we get into the Eastern time zone. It's Carrie's birthday today. Yay. Um, so we're hoping to uh, take her to the world's largest <laughs> <laughs> for her birthday. Um, yeah, and we got Casey's for breakfast. And Grace got dibs. I got other things as well. I didn't just get ice cream for breakfast. Here we are at the world's largest truck stop. Very excited. We're gonna use the bathroom. Uh, I might grab some food in here as well. Yeah, I mean, it's the world's largest. America the Beautiful. You bought it a truck ride. This is the world's largest truck stop ever in the world. And there's Taco Bell for grades. That's funny. Sports. There's the hometown Eagles all the way out here in Iowa. Grace's first time driving in Ohio right here. And I hope it goes well. We only have about four hours to go. All right, so just an update on the purchase in Iowa. Grace bought this pig shirt. It's an extra large. Iowa, come here, the corn grow. Why? Why? Okay, so here is my dilemma. I have run out of shirts on this trip. All of my shirts I've worn once and I don't really want to wear again. So I really just wanted to buy one shirt for the last half day of our trip. Literally tomorrow is like a five hour drive home. So I really didn't need to buy this shirt. It's kind of a dramatic impulsive purchase. But I was and like- Keep no, in mind, she could have purchased shirts from Glacier, Yellowstone, Badlands. Okay, I was getting there. 
anywhere. Now, could I have bought a more iconic shirt from like a major place that people want to go? Yes, but they were expensive. I didn't want them to get like stained from like sunscreen. So I just ended up not buying them and I got better souvenirs. We should have shown my bison magnets, but regardless, I needed a shirt. This was only $15. I love animals. I love corn. I thought it was kind of funny, like a meme to get like a shirt from Iowa because like who really cares about Iowa? So yeah, that's what I got. Love it.